Today's video, I'm going to be getting straight after it. I got all my parts already laid out, ready to go. The first thing I'm going to get into is taking apart my old radiator, taking off both of the fans, taking off this guy. Once those are off, I'm gonna reassemble, put it on the new radiator, and then throw it in the car, because once I have this guy all in and assembled, then I could put in my air oil separator. Reason being is because some of the hoses for the air oil separator connect to this overflow right here. So might as well get this done out of the way so that all the connections are ready to be connected when I put on my aerial separator. And I keep looking up install videos and also the instructions on how to install the AOS. And I feel like I've watched too many and now I'm just kind of confusing myself. So I'm going to just kind of go step by step and uh, follow these instructions here and basically just try my best to install it. And of course these gloves are not letting me, anyway. I got the instructions pulled up on IAG. They don't really have pretty good instructions here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it. So it looks like first things first, taking apart this guy. I'm gonna be taking off this little tank here. It uh, looks like there's a few bolts and brackets holding on these little metal hoses that go across here. Once those are off, I believe there's two bolts holding on this fan, uh, one or two bolts holding on this fan, and then I think it should just all come off. So these are the screws that Subaru provides you uh, with the OEM radiator. They literally look like just like metal like sheet screws. Not of quality whatsoever to be honest. Um, but luckily Mishimoto supplies some hardware for theirs so you no longer need to use those guys. And now that those guys are off, it should just come right off. Okay, easy. If you wanted to do a little comparison between the two radiators, uh, obviously they're both the same height, but definitely not the same thickness, as we can see. Bada bing, bada boom, looking good. Also, as far as that, where the coolant is fed in and out, um, this is like, like straight up like plastic, OEM, and then that one's all aluminum, one piece. I like it. All right, so there's little tabs on the bottom here that feed into these holes obviously, and then there's tabs on the top that line up, so go ahead and line up the bottom first. One done, one to go. So the bottle that goes right here was just absolutely filthy, so I cleaned it up, and then I have legitimately replaced everything on the Subaru that has to do with coolant, all the hoses, all the metal lines, all the everything that touched coolant, I've replaced. And I think I'm just going to go ahead, finish it off, and replace this metal line here. As you can see, it's freaking disgusting, and might as well do it. It's probably going to be like 15 bucks or something, but it's like, you might as well. It's cheap insurance, and these two rubber ones as well, I'm probably just going to end up replacing those too. So I'm not going to put these back on. Probably just going to go to Subaru tomorrow and get them ordered. But those lines just sit at the top of the radiator and it will be very easy to install them even when it's in the car. So I'm going to continue with this install and go ahead and put it in the car. So this is what's going down right now. Um, before I could actually install my radiator, I went ahead and installed my AC compressor. I went ahead and installed this guy fully. There's four bolts that uh, secure to this big old bracket here. Um, those two bottom ones are a little difficult little difficult to get to so uh, it took me a little bit but I finally got it all situated all good to go now that's fully installed I got my power steering pump fully installed I'm gonna go ahead and probably connect all these guys today as well I got a little sensor connected I'm gonna connect this hose then there's this metal line that comes over that connects to that guy there anyway I think it's gonna be pretty basic as far as installing this guy so I'm gonna go ahead get straight to it Be mindful of the two fan this. connectors. Uh, don't smash them on the bottom. Let's see here. And it should fall right into place. It should be two rubber, two rubber pads essentially that it needs to rest on. I'm thinking, oh, fell into one. So I finally got the radiator in. 
all the hoses dialed in. I got a little uh, lazy and I didn't film me actually putting them on, but I'll throw some shots, kind of overlay shots of what they look like from the bottom and the top. And the boy Steven showed up. He got a new camera, 5D Mark III. He's currently taking some bangers. Um, I got off on a little tangent, or I basically just got lost in the sauce. I ended up putting on a bunch of stuff without recording it. I finished up hooking up uh, the main harnesses, so these two bricks over here next to the fuse box and then I hooked up these two guys over here and then also I hooked up the little O2 sensor goes from down there and then this little tab here I believe uh, hooks onto one of the coils once the coils are in and then it comes around hooks up right over here I also hooked up what else did I hook up I don't know, I don't know. Oh, all the transmission stuff. I also hooked up all the stuff kind of down there. I believe there's three different things you need to hook up and then there's also a ground right over here wow, that you need to hook up. Um, I'm contemplating getting an aftermarket pitch stop mount, but I don't know, maybe not. This one still seems to be fine, but I might end up doing it because I'm right here. And I haven't even touched my AOS. It's getting a little bit late and this took kind of a, a long time. I did get a bunch of stuff done. I just didn't really record a lot. I think I'll probably just set up my AOS right now and then do my install for tomorrow uh, just so I get like really, really prepared, 100% ready to go and I uh, don't get lazy today because I'm feeling kind of lazy. This is what uh, it's going to look like once the intake is actually on. I'm really struggling trying to get this thing on. I'm either going to have to like heat this part up or actually bring a tool from school that I use to make it go on easier. It's real. What is this? Just open it. Get in there. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what it <laughs> what is, is either. It's is this pretty going? big, you know? Just throw it in the engine bay and just see what happens. Right, right, right. I'm trying there to it goes over here. Close. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Wait, where did it, where? It goes kind of like, like that. Can you tell me what that is? It's an air oil separator. You ever heard of like a catch can? Yeah. This is like the catch can's big brother, oh, basically. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna go right there. It's nice, it's nice looking. It looks nice, yeah. And then there's just like a bunch of hoses and whatnot. Quality hose. It's like some quality hose, you know. <laughs> I only mess with quality hose. That's about it. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, the next thing that I did is I forgot that I need to put on my coolant expansion tank, and um, I kind of forgot how to put it on. But then I realized it's actually really easy. There's two bolts that go into the intake manifold, and then there's this little rubber hose right here that connects right there. Super easy. And then obviously one of these lines fish over go to the top of the radiator this one though honestly not entirely sure i still gotta figure it out and also this kind of lays up this used to lay up against like the air box but now it's just gonna go i'm probably gonna keep it under uh, my new intake so it's kind of like hidden a little bit um i don't know what else i need to do i think i'm basically done we're live we're live okay. so i thought of something um i realized i'm gonna be running my top mount for a little bit and I forgot that it's all black and blue, like World Rally Blue. So now we're going to see what it looks like with the top mount on. It might look pretty good. We're going to stay here. We're going to stay here. I'm going to come out of the dark. Watch. Bro. Oh, shoot. You, like, I can't see you. I know. Okay. It's a little dirty. But we're going to see what it looks like. I forgot you had that. I forgot I had and this. It's, it's just a little dirty, you know? Let's see holy toledo you know it's it's out here it's not gonna, it's not gonna, <laughs> it's it's not gonna be as angry sitting like that but what is it it's pretty i don't know what it's hitting there you go it's pretty pretty much like that Pretty. It's not fitting. It'll fit. It's just hitting this. That's pretty much what it's gonna look like. 
Got to make minor adjustments. Minor adjustments. I don't know what it's hitting, but you know, pretty much adjustment. Okay, perfect. Wow. I feel like I always do basic little walk arounds, but this is basically where I'm at right now. If you're just catching up with this video, the engine's obviously in, and the transmission is now mounted to the engine. Everything is plugged in. Uh, the intercooler will be going on probably next week once I get all my new hoses. We got expansion tank on. Radiator is now in. All the interior stuff is basically pretty good to go. I still got to hook up my gauges, but they are mounted there. And then as far as the back goes, nothing has really changed besides my taillights. Yeah. I think I am pretty much done for today's video. I put in a lot of work. I just didn't really record that much. But, I feel like I always say this, tomorrow will be the day. But tomorrow I will really be putting in uh, the air oil separator, which is probably going to be a pretty big task. I don't know how long it's going to take. But I pretty much get the gist of where everything goes. So, I don't think it will be that bad. I basically got everything set up today that I need to get set up. We're getting close, boys. We're getting close. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.